With temperatures heating up and winds picking up, fire season in Montana can't be far behind, and emergency crews want you to be prepared. MTN's McKenna Dickey spoke with experts about why you need to be ready. With fire season rapidly approaching as we enter the summer months, it's important to be prepared on how you can avoid a fire in your area. Uh, in Wireland, they have a term, if you own the fuel, you own the fire. So what we want you to do right now, I mean right now, is uh, starting uh, with uh, mitigating the fuels around your house. Getting those uh, piles of firewood uh, from against the house, clean up underneath your decks, keep your uh, grass cut short uh, or, tr or trim back and keep it watered if you can. Uh, that's buying us time to help you guys out. North Central Montana saw a few showers in May, which allowed for a decent amount of precipitation. But with June being drier, the grass around Central Montana is drying out. And with drier, warmer, and windier conditions, fires are more likely as we go into July. The white area is the area that's been removed from the drought. So you can see areas north and east of Great Falls did get uh, removed from the drought, and areas south of Great Falls are basically. Um, a little bit below normally and abnormally dry conditions. There are several things we can do to help prevent fires, including practicing safe outdoor cooking, following city burn ordinances, and having safe backyard campfires at least 15 feet away from homes. We're going in the summer, we have had a kind of a relatively wet spring, which means a lot of the fuels, um, lightweight fuels, meaning grasses, shrubs, and those types of things in town and surrounding town are they grew very well. Now they're drying out at a rapid pace, so they're going to be fire ready. Uh, one hot day, all it takes, and everything's ready to burn. And to prevent a big wildfire season, we need uh, rainfall over the next few weeks. We do have a weather system coming in next week that has the potential to give us uh, some rain, but uh, we need a, a good half of an inch to even up to inch and a half of rain to make a, a difference, to, to have a good impact on our fire season that's going to be coming up. More information on how you can stay prepared and stay safe this fire season will be available online. In Great Falls, McKenna Dickey, MTN News. When a wildfire breaks out, first responders are quick to get on scene, but sometimes more help is needed, and Cascade County Disaster and Emergency Services has the resources. Cascade County Disaster and Emergency Services, or DES, is the middleman between county, state, and federal agencies. If there is a wildfire where helicopter assistance is needed for water dumping, Cascade County DES can make that call to request that assistance. So DES is, is the continuity between the local effort and the state effort and federal effort. We are that continuity line that we can get more help, we can assist, and even if it's a very destructive fire, DES has the capability and the components for recovery, you know, and so that we really do that full circle. We prepare, respond, recover and then we mitigate. DES works closely with rural and volunteer fire departments, community emergency medical services and community emergency response teams to ensure the best and most accurate responses to emergency situations.